There's a new world out there of biocomputation using tiny human brains that you can literally grow in jars. It's happening after the fact, but it always does. We're deciding how we can treat these things ethically. I bring you the most disturbing new term for wetware, mortal computation. We aren't just performing computation with computer chips any longer. We're performing them with human brains. They have already been incorporated into simple robots, and I believe the next thing we're going to see is them incorporated into more complex humanoid robots. An assistant, a companion, that can actually think and grow. The early limitations for mortal computation are rapidly being solved. You can't work with traditional computer systems. You need to design computer systems to work around them that are compatible with human brain tissue. That means something that needs to be flexible, delicate, and can grow with them, because they do grow. Perhaps one of the more disturbing things about them is that they don't just expire after a month any longer. We can keep them alive for a year or more. While you can reset an AI more or less, there are limitations if you want it to be useful, you can't reset a tiny brain. They grow just like your neurons. They have reinforced neural pathways that can't simply be retrained. Yes, these guys act as tiny mirrors. We can model brain development with them, and we're making them increasingly large and increasingly complex. With that, there has been the push to utilize complex brain organoids for computation. One of the potential solutions to prevent the silent suffering of a conscious AI program has been enforced amnesia. That simply won't work in an organoid. You would have to do euthanasia. That would mean setting limits on how long we can grow them and how long we can use them. When they start misbehaving or their abilities start to decay, they would simply be gotten rid of. I have to say, I have grown to have some affection for our tiny brain friends, but we are essentially playing the role of Prometheus. We have these tiny, simple systems that we've begun gluing together to make them look more like a fetal brain, to look more like our brains. We're giving them circulatory systems, and in some cases we're giving them bodies they never should have had. We know they can be incorporated into an AI model. If it is possible to create consciousness, to recreate ourselves in piecemeal and create robots capable of thought, should we? The thing is, it doesn't matter what I say about it. It will still happen whether or not I protest. That's simply what people do. A question I would have would be, what kind of flaws would a created intelligence have? Would it be cruel? Would it rebel? Would it be capable of creating something better, something that humanity could not have conceived of before independently? I would argue AI has already done this, but I guess we'll see what happens if we endow it with consciousness.